now. Coming up. On this week's episode, it's an action-packed real fishing adventure in Costa Rica. Bob joins Paul Mickley from Navionics for a couple of days fishing at Zancudo Lodge. Paul and Bob cover the water inshore fishing, catching feisty jack creval and rooster fish. While offshore, they search for a larger catch, trolling and casting baits, catching a snapper and sailfish. Life is good at Zancudo Lodge. Wow. Bum, bum, bum. There we go, boys. And that is awesome. Look at that magnificent fish. Way down there. Isn't that sweet? Look at the size of that fish. There he is again. The color is incredible. Yeah, that's a nice one. The Real Fishing Show with Bob Izumi. <laughs> All right. That is a big rainbow trout, Chris. Double headers. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> nice jump. <laughs> Yeah. All right. <laughs> and that is so cool. Another one. There we go. All right. Look at that chunk. Real Fishing is sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water, and Tim Hortons. On the Real Fishing Show, we make catching fish like this a possibility. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Nice. What do we got? Rooster or a jack? Jack. So you had a jack? Jack and a rooster chasing it. And the jack got the it. Jack got it. We've been covering miles and miles of water today, having fun casting different Sabeel. What are the baits we've been throwing? We're throwing now? the splasher and the bongo jerk. Yeah, I had a nice giant rooster follow up a few minutes ago. Oh, here we go, right here literally exploded on that Seville, didn't it? <laughs> oh, he just, just wanted to kill it. Excellent. All right. Nice. Yeah. That's a nice one. Yeah. Nice. Get that back in the water. Cool. So, let's have a look at that bait real quick. Yeah, there. That's a, take a look at that splasher. Now that comes in a lot of different sizes, doesn't it? That's a, it's got like a bugle mouth on it, doesn't it? Yeah, it throws a lot of water, that bait. You're working it pretty aggressive too, right? Yeah, trying to keep that nice splash, like a fish that's trying to get away, pop it along, and it really calls them from the surf, you know, from a distance. It can really hone in on it when they're just running, you know, up and down the beach. Yeah, he smashed it. All right. <laughs> let's get some more. Yeah, sounds good. Whoa. What do we got going on, Bob? I don't know, but it's fighting hard, man. There's a lot of line out. Might be Mr. Rooster. Don't thumb him. Uh oh. Uh, pull, 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 pull. Oh, it's pulled off. Sorry. Look at that, right down to the end. Uh, well, hey, boys, good excitement. Life is good down here at Zancuda Lodge, folks. <laughs> when we return, there's more multi species action from Zancuda Lodge in Costa Rica. Stay tuned. Closed captioning is brought to you by BoaterExam.com. Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. As it is with all living things, fish have their problems. Lampreys and other parasites take a considerable toll. Illness, disease, and birth defects also factor in. Naturally produced and man-made triploids occur as well. Absolute giants waiting to be caught. Genetically speaking, there are some genuine oddballs out there. Of all the oddities in the swim, few are stranger than tiger trout. Beauty being in the eye of the beholder, most would agree they are a bizarre creature indeed, with no two alike. A natural or man-made cross between brook and brown trout, both male and female offspring are incapable of reproducing. That's a good thing, because tigers are highly aggressive. They fear nothing except one another and will eat anything and everything in sight. We've caught them on live bait, jigs, flies, even plastic beads. It's likely they'd attack anything that moves. When hooked, they're one of the toughest fish in fresh water. In hand, be prepared for an unforgettable sight. And do remember to keep the camera handy. Though stocked widely in the U.S., Canada is slow to jump on board. Presently, the Twin Lakes region in Manitoba and Little Jackfish Lake in Saskatchewan are the only places we know of. All righty. Well, it's day two here at Zancudo Lodge. 
Paul Mickley from Navionics uh, is with me. And hey, Paul, uh, we got a good thing happening here. We got the live bait that we're slow trolling along the beach here. Yep. And uh, we're throwing different Sabeel poppers and swim type baits in front of the boat. And this thing just ripped off some line. That certainly screened some drag on the set. It did, you know, and we got pretty heavy line on this. This is actually one of my musky reels. It's a big uh, Revo, a Toro, and uh, got this handle on here that's like for cranking. <laughs> it's definitely for winching them in. I don't know what that is. I haven't seen it yet. No, it's not come up, maybe a snapper. But I'll tell you one thing, you do get a good workout. I don't care if you're fishing inshore like we're doing today or offshore. Everything's a workout when you catch them out here in the ocean, isn't it? By far. I think they're swimming against all that tide and current. And... Oh, yeah, there's the leader. Oh, there it goes. Uh -oh. I can see it there. What is that? Snapper. Excellent. Might want to get a picture of that, too. Yeah, absolutely. That's a cool fish. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Very nice. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Look at the size of that yeah. thing. Watch those gills, Bob. They're real short. Oh, we got to get some photos of that. That's a big one? Yeah, they didn't get big. No, so they don't get that big normally. No, that's a nice one. They didn't grow as a big. All right, so this thing here is, this is a normally large uh, Tito Saiyan. Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, here, let's put her back in. Go ahead. All righty. Look at that. Okay. Look at that thing. Whoa! It's like a, <laughs> it's like a giant bluegill or something. Yeah, you're right. It's very cool. We very get your cool. cane pole out and go back after him. <laughs> hey, I don't have a cane pole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Good one. Man. Here we are, we're casting those bongo jerks, or bonga jerks out the front of the boat and the bait rod comes through. Uh oh, rooster? Good to me, when it came on tap, I have a rooster. Come on, baby. Okay. Boy, it's going around the boat. Uh oh. Don't be doing this to me now. We got some heavy duty line on here. <laughs> you know, oh there, this Costa Rica fishing is just pure adrenaline. Okay, there it is, look at that. Rooster? It looks like it. Mr. Rooster fish. There we go. Hold on one second, just a sec. Whoa. <laughs> Uh oh, he doesn't like the. I think he knows you, Tito. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I think he knows you. Look at that thing. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right, Rooster in the boat. <laughs> right in the corner of the mouth. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, this is exciting stuff. <laughs> That's not even a giant one in a pot. Now, you caught one 70 pounds. 70 is my biggest, yeah, 70 pounds, which is just, I mean, every big as big as I am. Wow. They are something. But that's that's a beaut that's an average rooster down here. That is a beautiful, beautiful fish. Can I grab him there? Yeah. Grab it, don't put it on the gill. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Excellent, got a good shot, perfect. Let's okay. get him in, hold him by his tail, let's okay. revive him. Turn him this way, turn okay. him this way, this way. Yep. Hang on to him. Okay. Head up. That thing is just incredible. Oh, oh he's oh. gone. Okay, whoa, there he's gone. All right. Very cool. Good job, Bob. Hey, thank you, Captain. Yeah, man, you did good. Thank you, very nice, lots of fun. Woo! For Paul Mickley from Navionics, it's the catch of the day, battling a big sailfish when we return. Stay tuned. This tip of the week is sponsored by Coleman, the outdoor company. 
I just did a little calculation and since 1981, I fished over 500 tournaments in various ranger boats. What can I say? I love these fishing machines. I'll tell you, I've been in some pretty crazy conditions and made some awfully long runs around the Great Lakes in these in tournaments and they've always got me back safe and sound. This is a Z521C and I just took delivery of it. I haven't even had a chance to take it out on the water. I haven't even mounted the motor guide on the front or loaded it up yet. But let me just show you some of the features on this. This is a pretty cool deal. Let's say you've been running your graphs and your aerators all day and not moving around a lot with say your big motor. It's got a jump start on it and the jump start here allows you to just flick a switch switch over from your crank battery if it gets low to one of your deep cycles and jump and start your motor without having to carry around jumper cables. Inside the backsplash well you've got a neat little switch that's an automatic boat plug. So you just flip it to close the plug or open it up just to leave your plug open to let the water drain. Uh, inside the live well here you've got these transparent covers so that you can keep your fish separate in both sides and uh, Check on your fish intermittently throughout the tournament. At the console here, this is pretty cool. It's got a sliding adjustable seat on it. Now, I'm not the tallest guy in the world, so short guy like me, I can slide the seat forward and still feel safe holding the steering wheel when I'm running down the lake. Now, there's some, so many features on here. I've got, you know, four Lorentz HDS touch units. It's got two insulated coolers plenty of dry storage throughout the boat and also on the stern side there's a rod locker that is ventilated and it's power ventilated with a fan system that will actually keep the moisture out so let's say you get a little bit of water in there or uh, you know some moisture you don't want mold forming because the ranger boats have an incredible rubber seal around them they're airtight so with the, uh, the power ventilated system, it'll keep your compartments nice and dry. I'm telling you, they always have so many innovations every year, and that's what I love about Ranger Boats. If you want more information on how these bad boys are built, you can go to rangerstrong.com and see how they're built, or if you want more information on the models, go to rangerboats.com. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. All right. Woo. There we go. What was that fish doing on the surface? Just spinning, cruising along, looking for ballyhoo or flying fish. Or... We're just trolling along. All of a sudden, we see a fin there, and you threw out to it. Yeah, little pitch bait. Very nice. Well, I'll tell you. Oh, there he is. oh yeah. Beautiful fish. That's a big one, isn't it? That's a nice, nice sailfish. Real nice sailfish on a spinning rod. Whew. <laughs> it's a battle. You got your work cut out for you? Yeah. Well, you know, the, the one thing about it is, is the same rod and reel we were using yesterday, catching rooster fish on Sabil bonga jerks, which is like a jerk bait glide bait. And also using, uh, what was the popper you were using yesterday? Yeah, the uh, Seville Splasher. Yeah, and so here it is. Now you got bait on it using the same outfit with a sail. You got to like that. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. All right. Well, Paul's been working out at the gym, getting ready for his uh, trip. Like, he's, you've done, what, 16 trips or something like uh, that? Or? 15 or 16, something down here. Down to Costa Rica. He loves coming to Zancudo Lodge, and this is the reason why right here is the amazing action.
Woo. Come on, give me some more line back on here. How's that feel, solid? Oh, it's a good fish. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be right back with the exciting conclusion of the sailfish fight with Paul Mickley from Navionics. Stay tuned. Come on, jump, baby. There he is. Beautiful. Beautiful. There he is again. Gosh, that's awesome. <laughs> Never gets old. They do have a big average sailfish down here, don't they? Yeah. Compared to other parts big. of the world. Yeah, big Pacific sailfish down here. A lot of 100 pound fish. You know what? Oh, beautiful. You know, it's amazing the, the fish, how hard everything fights down here, isn't it? Yeah, it's a it's, whole saltwater whole fish, I guess, is like a survival game, is it? Pretty much. Well, you wow. figure how much open ocean they're swimming and how much muscle they've got to have on them all the time and chasing down fast fish. And, and the, the migrations are doing, too, so they're yep. always swimming, right? Always swimming. No laying on the bottom. Oh, oh. Here we go. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Check them again. Wow. Has that thing got wings or what? <laughs> He's active. Uh, your line is starting to go. Yeah, all that work I did, yeah, it's going right yeah. out. Woo! There he goes again. Oh. Dancing. Come on, give me some more line back on here, boy. You getting thirsty yet? No, <laughs> not yet. Yeah. Just I'm more worried about the line getting back on here. When I asked you about what size of reels to bring uh, down or a reel that you might use out here, a 6500 size pen is a good size reel for out here? All around it's, it's a great size reel. It's great for roosters, yeah. the sails, the mahi, you know, small football tunas, you know, because you don't, you're going to watch your luggage weight anymore when you're coming on the plane, so you really want to try to match it with everything as best you can and it's a great size reel. I can see you're putting a lot of muscle on that 100 pound plus fish right now with that <laughs> reel. And I mean, we were catching beautiful rooster fish yesterday with it. Oh, here we go. He's going to come up right behind the okay. boat here in a minute. Turn. Turn. Fishy. There he goes. Turn. Water's so clear though, isn't it? Oh yeah, you can see him sitting down there. Nice sailfish. Oh yeah, he's just swimming Ooh, alongside nice the boat here. Here comes the leader. Oh, yeah. Just oh, up man, a that's more. a big one. You are getting a, a workout, my man. Well, it helps if you talk to them some days, I find. Yeah, do you speak their language? Yeah, not always cooperate, though, you know? Down here it's Spanish, and I'm not too too good at my Espanol on selfish, so I don't think he's quite following. <laughs> no. Andale, rapido. <laughs> and he said no comprende. No comprende. Ah, it's that accent. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Almost got him. There's leader. All right. There you go, Tito. Tito's going to help pull up on him. I'm going to kick the drag back a little, Tito. Walk into the back. Oh, that's a big one. Man. Nice sailfish. Beautiful yeah. sailfish. <laughs> Tito is the sailfish wrestler. <laughs> yep. Beautiful, beautiful fish. All right. Oh, look at that. Wow. Excellent. We'll lift up the spin a little bit here. That's a big one, man. Yeah, that's a beauty. You got him, Tito? There you go. That is a good one. Get How his many tail pounds here. do you think? Well, let's get he's, his tail. Yeah, I don't know. 15 pounds, man. Yeah, he's that's over 100. Yeah. Wow. That's over 100. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Yeah, go ahead, Bob. Put that glove on. You want to grab him? Okay. Hang on tight. Right, right. Yeah, tight. Okay. If you let go, I'm going in with him. Yeah, that's a good 120 pound sail. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I want to get a couple photos and put her back. Yeah, let's get her done and send okay. her on back down. Look at that. <laughs> beautiful fish. Wow. Beautiful colors. Shall we put her back? Yep. Ready? Let's put her head, nose her down, keep a hold of her, Bob. Yeah. We're just going to swim her, okay? Keep the bill. 
Yep. Tito's going to put it in gear. We're going to swim her a little bit. And then she'll tell you when she wants to go. Just hang on and swing her head back and forth a little. Yep. There you go. Okay. And she'll let us know. I'm going to let, let, let go of the tail. Keep doing it. Keep yeah. going. Don't let go. Back and forth. Swing her head. Yes, sir. Keep going. Keep going back and forth the whole time. Swimmer. Very cool. About 115 pounds, you figure, yeah, right? Yeah, 120. Yeah, yeah, good. 120. Yeah, 120. 120. Big sail. What do you think? Is it ready? Ready. Yeah, ready? let's let her go. go. Ready? Here Send her down. down. Give her a shove. Look at that. Very, very cool. Beautiful. Good yeah. job. We did good. And All my right. favorite way, pitch baiting. Yeah. Good There's job. There's a better way to good catch job. it. Good job. Fall? Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Lots of fun. Now, that was a hard fighting fish. Out of a lot, we've got a lot of sails down here over the years, I'll be honest with you. That one gave you a lot of a fight. That tackle is just so much fun on that size fish. Yeah, it's and you That's know a what? Fish. That was just, you wouldn't want to be undergunned with that size of fish. That was just right. But if you had a lighter rod and reel, it would have been a challenge. Forget it. Forget it. Well, good for you, man. Good stuff. That was stuff. awesome, man. Awesome. What a day. Just another day here in paradise at Zancudo Lodge. You got it. <laughs> Yeah, all right. <laughs> this is a big fish. That is a fish of a lifetime. <laughs> well, that is just amazing. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> that was too cool. Oh, man, what a fish. Look at that. <laughs> yeah.